Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone to this new video on Azure in the series of Azure videos. Uh, in today's session, I will show you how you can protect your servers running within Azure environment by utilizing Azure Backup Services. Uh, so before I start uh, in today's session, I'll show you how you can utilize uh, Azure Backup Services to protect your server with the name FS, which is a file server, and it is in a resource group with the name BCRG in Canada Central. So let's get started. And the first step to do that is to create a recovery service vault. So if I go to recovery service vault, you will see that I have already created one with the name Girish RSV and it has to be in the same resource group and uh, the location is Canada Central. So if you're doing for the first time, you will click on uh, the add button, give a name you want to give, choose your subscription and uh, you will deploy in the existing uh, resource group that you have or you can create new and you will pick your location. Now I have already created one as I said with the name Girish RSV so let me just expand this and uh, what you'll do is you can go to getting started under backup or you can go from uh, this uh, area of the page and go under backup and you can go under the usage I've already added one of my servers so you'll see that one server is added but in this case I'm going to show you how you can add the file server so under the Azure virtual machine you will expand this and uh, click on the add button again and it is asking where is your workload running so it is in Azure and what you want to back up it is virtual machine pick backup Now here you have the option of uh, choosing the default policy uh, within the portal but if you want to create a new one you can go to create new and uh, you can give uh, whatever name you want to give you can specify how often you want this backup to run this can be daily weekly and you can specify what time you want to run maybe you want to run this during the off peak hours and uh, you can also specify for uh, how long you want to keep, how long you want to have the monthly backup point and the retention of yearly backup point which is maximum is uh, 99 years which Azure offers. So just to keep this uh, demonstration simple what I'm going to do is uh, under the backup policy I will pick just a default policy which will run daily at 1.30 a.m. and it will keep the backup for 30 days and pick okay and here I'll specify my file server and uh, click OK and uh, the server was added successfully and I'll pick enable backup so if I expand the notification you will see that uh, the deployment is in progress And while this is getting backed up, let me just RDP into the file server. And uh, what I have done is that, which I'm going to uh, show you in the second part of the video, is that uh, under the C drive, I have certain folders, say with the name accounting, IT, sales, and uh, we'll try to restore once our backup is completed. So it's still getting deployed so we'll just wait for a moment so the deployment was successful so let me just come out of this and uh, refresh and you can see that the file server has been added successfully but you get a warning that the initial backup uh, the reason being that uh, under the backup policy it is supposed to be starting at 1 30 a.m. in the morning so what I want to do is I want to start this straight away so I'm going to expand this 
and I'll pick backup now. And as for the policy, it's going to retain this backup for 30 days. So that's OK with me. And I'll click on OK. And if I uh, open the notification tab, that you can see that the backup has been triggered. So let me just close this. And uh, let me show you also. So these are the blades that gets opened up. So what I can show you is if you go under the monitoring and report, if I go to jobs, I should be able to my uh, backup, which is uh, running. So go under the backup jobs, and you can see that the workload is file server and uh, the job is in progress. Now this will take some time, but you get this idea of how you can utilize uh, within the portal Azure backup services to protect your workloads running. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.